Okay, welcome to our study in the book of Exodus. Today we've moved on to chapter 22, verses 25 to 27. I'll read it and then we'll talk. If you lend money to my people, to the poor among you, you are not to act as a creditor to him. You shall not charge him interest. If you ever take your neighbor's cloak as a pledge, you are to return it to him before the sun sets, for that is his only covering. It is his cloak for his body. What else shall he sleep in? And it shall come about that when he cries out to me, I will hear him, for I am gracious. So again here we have God is there for the person in need, the person who might be abused or taken advantage of by someone else. Now notice here you can't charge interest to a fellow Israelite, but you can charge interest to a foreigner. So this is, again, a piece where God's people are not to charge interest to each other. Very interesting. And then you have your pledge that uh, would be returned the same day. And the pledge was really pretty much a symbolic thing. But still, since people more or less slept in their clothing, this isn't just a, a, a Old Testament thing. There are people today living in certain places uh, where they more or less their garment, they use it for a coat, they use it to shield them from the wind, they will use it to shield them from the sun. They will even sleep in that garment. So this isn't really a weird thing here. This is, this is, uh, I've seen this in action. Finally, I want you to notice that God says that if they cry to me, I will hear their cry and I will come to their defense. So again, be careful how you treat people. I've seen these pictures lately of just crazy things happening. Uh, people who are just walking up to people on the street and then punching them in the head or knocking them down or even killing them. There's guys that walk up on the street in Baltimore and just shoot somebody out of no reason. That kind, of, that kind of behavior, watch out because God is the defender and the, he, those things bring out, bring out the defender, the protector in him. And there will be vengeance required for those kind of tragic, evil uh, kinds of acts. So here we see God is on the side of the, the laborer, the person who might be abused or whoever that person might be. God wants to be and is on your side. See you tomorrow morning.